Fetty. This is a huge match for Manon Apathy Bruno. Well, she won silver here uh, last year uh, in uh, 2022. The individual bronze medalist from Tokyo, Manon Apathy Brunet. Carlan gets things underway to a smattering of applause. Gives Carlan the right of way, pushes uh, Apathy Bruni right down to the end of the piece. Carlin's just making her mind up off the line. She's really committing. Again, Carlin seizing the initiative. Oh, turned her back. Turned her back and we'll get a yellow card for that. She thought she'd got the hit, but uh, no light was on the box. So no point was scored, but a yellow card given for Carlin for turning her back on her opponent, which is a dangerous move because the only piece of uh, your body that's unprotected is the back of the mask. Now, preparation called on Carlan, so pulling her hand back on the attack. Apathy Brunei getting another point on the board. So, Apathy Bruno comes back down to the end of her piece and has a chat with Christian Bauer, her coach, part of the Bauer International Academy. <laughs> Carlin's attack falls short. I don't think I've ever seen Olga Carlan quite so focused and motivated. She really does have her eyes on the prize. Carlan building the attack and finishing nicely. And we go to the break at 8-2. And the crowd will be willing their support on to. Well, Carl, I'm looking for the parry. And the attack comes through from Abdi Brunei. Well, that's got the crowd going. Two quick points in succession for Manon Apathy Brunei. Well, Carlan asking for a video review on that one. She was convinced that. And. Marcellotti admitting uh, his mistake and uh, has changed the uh, yeah, nine four the score. Attack. 
Well, at that time, Carl Ann uh, acknowledging the point to Apathy Brunet. Carl Ann's attack. Right. From Carl Ann on the left, counter attack given. Uh, and they both came in there, stopped, and then Aperture Brunet the quicker to restart. Now the French crowd are starting to get behind, they're starting to believe. That is just the one point in it, and the momentum is definitely trying to work out how to stop the rot. So we're nine apiece. The big advantage that Carl Ann had established has now been whittled away. Carl Ann looking to finish and does. Oh, it's going to go right down to the wire, this one, you feel. And a piece. Preparation from Carl Ann. Pulling her hand back and uh, Carl Ann just asking for uh, Manon Apatit Brunet just to fix her hair to get that away from the target area. It would stop Carl Ann from scoring a hit if she were to hit the ponytail. Petit Brunet, the right of way. Wow. <laughs> this time, Apathy Brunet Academy, coaching Apathy Brunet and her husband, Bolad Apathy, as well as uh, working with Sandro Bazadze, who crashed out of one. Bit of a surprise to see Bazadze go out so early in the competition. It's not something you see every day. It's a big call there from Marcellotti, and it's gone the way of the French pencil. So 12 11. Lovely little cat was not her right of way. You can see there Carlan attacking, Apathy Brunet coming in, hitting, and then getting out of the way. You can wrestle the momentum back. But Apathy Brunet's got the crowd behind her. Nothing given there. Simultaneous action. Simultaneous action. Uh, must be pretty confident that she'd started that attack first. Aren't there from Olga Karlan. Oh, lovely point there from Manon Apathy Brunet. Karlan did all the Grand Prix gold. Straight attack there from Carl Ann. Apathy Brunet looking for the power of post, didn't find it. And there it is. Man on Apathy Brunet has done it. And the French crowd can celebrate. She won the silver here last year in her comeback performance after shoulder surgery. And Man on Apathy Brunet has gone one better this year and has taken her first ever Grand Prix goal.